what is up so in today's video i have this exciting 25 dollars headband look and literally you could go to the beauty supply store right now and cop this for 25 dollars okay what headband would you know 25 dollars i'll wait oh you don't but now you do so let's get into it so starting off with the specs on this hair this is the ultra kinky straight big beautiful 18 inch clippings okay and they are big and they are beautiful and they are laying flat on this side i just feel like i have so much more control with this type of install over a headband wig because you can control how tight you want the headband what kind of headband you want how much thickness of hair you have underneath the headband you know i just there's more possibilities you know in my opinion it's a lot easier on the pockets it's a lot easier on this wind baby because this east coast wind is ruthless and that's the one of the things that's had me hesitant about buying a headband wig is like girl, all i gotta do is walk outside and my hair is on the ground i don't want that for me and i don't want that for you but with these okay i've slept in these for multiple days straight and easy detangling process still looks great when you wake up still looks great when you take them down when you install it's just i'm in love and i had to share with y'all so let's get into it hello guys so i'm clearly out the shower and it's time to take this hair down let's take this down okay so boom this is what we're working with right now basically my new whipped her hair care routine involves like a wig alternative because you guys know I was wearing my blonde unit, but I decided to give it a break just because my hair was not having it with me dancing so much and having to wear a frontal. I'm just going to use this. This is like my go-to if I need moisture and I need it to last. These two together have been like the best post wash routine for me so this is the Ren pure rose water soothing conditioner and then this is the camilla rose cocoa nibs and honey um oil but i do about half a pump just because i want my hair to dry tomorrow because this is a winter hair care routine and i don't want my hair to be wet and then i take some camilla rose only do like three drops because this stuff is actually kind of heavy i like doing straight backs just because it's easier to maintain um and i feel like it's less strain on my edges because i'm not pulling or crocheting mad hair through itself and pulling on my edges off top trying to keep that circular pattern usually i use like my edges as a guideline and that'll that'll do it for me I've been braiding my hair for almost 25 minutes. I'm ready to go to sleep. I wish I could tell you guys that I'm filming, filming this the morning after y'all saw these last clips. Baby, these are the same braids I was rocking in that first clip that you guys saw when I was just braiding my hair down, treating it, and it's been a smooth week and a half, but that's cool. So I am here to show you guys how I've perfected this ultra kinky straight clip in routine. So I wanted to make sure that I had a solid routine before I came back to you guys with how I like it. So first things first is the edge. But this is the edge booster gel. I got the trial version back in the summer because I just didn't believe I'd use it all. And here we are. I have the coconut, yeah, coconut banana scent, and it's so good. It's really thick. So I take one of these little edge brushes and I just do my edges as usual pretty much not make my hair feel like super like oily or greasy or even like silicone -y. i don't know what it was with eco style but it just had a way of making my hair feel so weird like i don't even know what it is if you know you know <laughs> but i really like this because it lasts long smells great and I like how much control you have. So because these braids are old, I'm just taking out a little bit of hair and just doing my edges. Kind of like, you know, if you have box braids, just 
doing the edges so that everything else behind it looks polished. So I just put that thing down. And I put all the braids from underneath while I am laying my hair just so that we can start actually putting some of these tracks in while the um edges are just drying and setting down i've actually been sleeping with these in and they i find them super comfortable i sleep in them for about three days take them out and then i just do a scalp massage with this camilla rose coconut nibs and honey oil um, and i also mix that with an almond oil and a dark black caster and i'm just giving myself a good scalp massage while i watch a movie or a tv show and then I let my hair breathe for the night and I apply them back in the next morning. And in terms for our maintenance for the actual clip-ins, I will show you guys on this seven clip. There is an 11 inch, an eight inch, two fives, a seven, and I believe like, I wanna say like five, three inch pieces or two clips per se. So this is the seven clip piece. I believe this is the 11 inch. Yeah, this is definitely the 11 inch. So I like to just apply some water. I actually treated these last night and I'm sorry I didn't show y'all, but this is what I usually do. <laughs> so if it's like super tangled, cause I do work, I am a barista. So I usually just tie my hair in a slick braid back and it works out. If I need to, I'll apply some water, literally just a little spritz because I don't want to, you know, have it just get like matted or anything because this is a human hair blend. So there is human hair in it, but it is not 100% human, you know, Brazilian, Indian, anything. <laughs> it's um, mixed with synthetic fiber. Hop on my clips open. Make sure they're open, okay. So I start with the side clips. So I'm gonna scrunch the sides into my hair. And like I said, I placed the side ones going up and I wanna make sure that it's not clinking onto my scarf. Okay. These are actually a bit too large for my head. Um, so I would say that these definitely are big head friendly because I find that the clip lengths are a bit too big for my head. Like sometimes I have to kind of go out of like my little loop of range just to make sure that everything is like has a spot, if that makes sense. It's the five clip. So now I just go right on top and I just stack these things up. I usually like do a braid in between each clip just so that I can have some leverage and like an anchor to add the clips onto. But you also don't want it to be too thick because this hair is like yakky. It's not like it's super straight. So there's not really a need to have them super close because the density is already pretty high. So you can see what I mean when I go upwards, like I started down here, but I go up. And it just depends on like the way that my braids are laying that day, if I'm being honest. And now I take my scarf down. See, it was looking good before, but now it's looking even better. And then you playing Jenga with the clippings. So and I do wanna I do wanna mention that I have had one clip fall off the track, but I do know how to hook these back on. All you need is just a thread and then some black thread, and then you just sew through like these little holes right here back onto the track, or you can hot glue it. But what I like to do is I will sneak it underneath a clip and then just clip that on top so that it kind of secures itself through another track. But just know that I have had a couple of the clips loosen up on me so just be gentle or get yourself a threaded needle <laughs> either or so i like to have the fives meet each other just because then i get a pretty even um length once i pull it down so this is what i mean when i say i'm gonna take this ending of the five sneak it under the eight and then kind of hook it in right there. 
I know it sounds and it looks crazy right now, but the way that we're gonna wear it, nobody's gonna know. So now I'm down to my two clips and I like to straight up get right next to those leave out sections. And I'm basically trying to apply this as if I was installing a U-part wig. So you can already see there's that section right there that, like I said, if I wanted to, I could take out and then blow my hair up. Apply a two clip straight back. Cause for some reason, that other section was looking wild. So I'm just gonna apply the two clips straight in the middle of these braids and then just fan that over so yeah instead of the two sections that's what i would do if i had leave out but just because we're gonna do what we're about to do i'm gonna do it this way take my headband and i just apply it and I just move it back a bit so you get a little bit of the edges a little bit of scalp just a little a little tease okay make them think then I take the Pantene dry oil and I just mist my hair you see it doesn't leave any residue it smells so good it smells like aloe vera juice and you can see I'm brushing straight from the top all the way to the bottom of the hair no tangles it's amazing and I'm not gonna spray this side just because Miss Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is burning and we don't want her to burn my room so I just feel like and then you want to just make sure of course that that little section is tucked I could have probably done a better job, but for the sake of recording this video, because I can't really get in the nitty gritty at the back of my head, it looks a lot more natural because it's a lot more flat. You can control how much hair is underneath your headband. You can control how much length and body you want that day. I just want you have a lot more freedom with these clippings on a headband wig. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the clippings down below. And I'll have all of the logs linked down below in the playlist. So if you want to binge watch, you can do that. But I will catch you guys in my next video.